The former Anambra State Governor, Chukwemeka Ezife, has employed Nigerian voters to ensure they carry out their civic responsibilities with their conscience intact and not be induced with the money offered them by politicians on election days. Ezife, who stated this, also told voters not to reject the monies offered to them by politicians. He said the monies were stolen and by implication belongs to the voters. Speaking while receiving members of the Voters Club of Nigeria, VCN, in his Abuja home, the former Anambra State Governor said if the right person is voted in 2023 as president of the country, within two years, young Nigerians will return from Europe to help in the development of the country. Sorry if people are young. You, don't, you didn't see the best of Nigeria. What you are seeing is the worst of Nigerians. The World Bank made a declaration that parts of Nigeria were are growing faster than the rest of the world. World Bank. This is the Nigeria we have today that people cannot feed. There's impunity all the way. That the courts are just saying anything they are paid to say. And the courts can give even the money and government says they are going to say something is wrong. Man is messing up those design for Nigeria. And man has lost conscience. Nigeria. Man has lost conscience in Nigeria. That's our problem. You cannot have a more important group than yourself. Voters Club of Nigeria. That's your name? Yes. yes. It is with the vote that we mess up Nigeria. Huh? Somebody says, eh, at our show state, take 30 million, 30,000. Vote for this person. And after voting, come and show me where you put it. And you take 30,000. First of all, let me talk about this money. The money they are giving you is your own money. Stolen for you in government. I say it now, and please carry it to everywhere. When they bring money from left or from right, from front or from back, take. My brothers and sisters, when they bring money, take. <coughs> if they bring a coffin, say, job, as a, as a, um, Swearing oaths. Jump! <laughs> what controls the world is conscience. With the build up to the elections, the national coordinator VCN Uche Mbacho said in the 2019 election, their members cast 6.8 million votes. He said there have been offline recruitment of voters nationwide to double the number of votes to be cast come 2023. Mbachu explained the role the club has played since it was formed to give block votes to any candidate of their choice and the choice of candidate is not made by one person. It is made at the national convention. We made our greatest impact 2019 election. I called that what we did in that time, the civilian coup, we planned the will of this government. But something happened, it wasn't the will of God. The sponsor disappointed us, so what we wanted to do that time, we did not do it. But then we had a coordinator in every polling unit in Nigeria that time, 2019. And we monitored our membership, the voting. We voted about 6.8 million total votes our members uh, made uh, 2019. Unfortunately, we lost. Since that time, recruitment has been going on offline. We go to remote villages and recruit our voters. 
and we put them in units of 25 voters. And you must have your PVC and show proof that you have it. You must know the unit you are voting so that we monitor you. Okay. From national to regional to state to local government to wards and to units. We have 176,846 polling units in Nigeria. So you can multiply that by four. We can, we can provide four people in, a, in all of these units in the 2023 election. The club has vowed to put an end to the anomaly in the political space that has denied youth the opportunity to bring their knowledge into the electoral process and deliver issue solving governance to the people. Hence, a major reason for the existence of the VCN is to use their number of members to negotiate with politicians on how to carry the youth along when they win.